Well, let me welcome everybody. Hello, who's enjoying their time here at Work Camp Miami? Let's give it a floor, you're really enjoying it. Yeah. I really appreciate, this is my second year being here at Work Camp Miami, first time as a lightning talk speaker. And I'm kind of excited because I'm learning, I'm meeting new people, um, I'm meeting people so much smarter than me and getting connected with others and meeting some of the vendors, like some of those people that I get angry with, like GoDaddy and Bluehost when I'm fighting with clients. Uh, it's been a great opportunity. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jesse Velez. Uh, my little freelance company that I, I'm building is called WeDoInternet.net. And I've been working with WordPress for over five years. Right now, about 90% of, of my business is WordPress. Um, I, I almost do like no straight HTML. It's just all, all the client products I do, we move them straight to WordPress. It's a real high value. And I've been using advanced custom fields for a few years. I also like to give away knowledge. I think giving it away is so much better than, than having people struggle and try to figure things out. I do that because I started learning this stuff when there, were no, when there was no Udemy and there wasn't any software, it was just giant books that you had to carry with you. And I lived in New York City, so that means lugging it on the train every single day to work. But if you wanna you know, check me out, I'm jessevelez.com, and if I'm gonna put up a slide. The slides are gonna be uh, at my website, wedointernet.net slash blog, and you can see the slides that I'm showing you right now. Let's get started, advanced custom fields, we're going to call it ACF, so it doesn't become a little tongue twister. But ACF is a free plugin that you can get at the WordPress uh, repo. And there's the address right there. It's developed by Elliot Condon. And what it does is it makes creating custom fields much easier. And I'll show you what it looks like if you don't know what custom fields are in a few minutes. But it's also programmer and non-programmer friendly. So what are custom fields? Custom fields allows you to add additional information when you're writing a post and it stores that information in the database so you can use it later. For example, like an address book, if you want to make, you know, for your clients, name, phone number, and then you could call that information up on your screen or, or through, your, through your post and display it much easier. You can also use that information throughout your entire site. It's, it's part of the WordPress and the WordPress loop. Now, this is the way custom fields usually are made in WordPress. You have to hand type and hand code what you see here on the screen for each custom field. ACF does the coding for you. And if you even want the coding, you can do it in ACF and then they'll export the code for you as well using the plugin. Now, I don't work for ACF, but I really do like the plugin. And I'm gonna show you an example of how I utilized it before um, in, in another website. It helps you to keep your information organized and you can also display it in different custom post types. So I want to show you an example of that soon. All right. yeah. What I mean by friendly to non-programmers is that you're gonna to have to know a little bit of programming to use it. Um, I don't mean no programming, it's just not as heavy or bad. Most of it is cutting and pasting and the documentation is pretty good. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated as you go with the pro version, but hopefully you'll make some friends here who know PHP and can do that kind of stuff that you can lean to and uh, ask questions about later. They also have some good documentation at that address there. There is also an ACF Pro version, and the Pro version is gonna add more features uh, that it's gonna expand what you can do. And one of the, the Pro version features I'm gonna talk about is like uh, a repeater field. I consider it a good value for the cost, and it's one of those things you can reuse, reuse, you don't have to keep purchasing and purchasing. And uh, when they upgrade it, give you free as well. So that, that to me is really awesome. I don't like to keep paying every year for like a new button that they add. Even though I know people got to make their money, right? But um, I like the fact that they have some good features. So the repeater feature in the pro version will allow you to nest or to group together your custom fields. For instance, let's say you want to create your own slideshow. You can create some fields like main title, subtitle, your image, and then a little button. Well, you can repeat that inside of your post so that you can put three or four or five all having those custom fields available to you. So you can keep using it over and over again inside. That works good also if you're trying to create a database of, of your client names or, or an address book and just keep adding person after person. 
Now, I talked a little about custom post types. Um, I don't know what you know, but custom post types is pretty much posts and pages in WordPress that you can create for yourself. And you can utilize it apart from the standard two types of post types, which is pages and posts. You can create a whole bunch of those with other plugins uh, called custom CPT UI is a, a good plugin to use, which will create it for you. Again, if you like programming, you can just breeze past it and just enjoy it. But if you want to get right to work, you can use these uh, plugins and tools. Now, on the website I'm going to show you in the next slide, um, it was like for a creative kind of, of thing. It was for creativity. So there's poetry, there's, there's literature, there's audio, there's video. So in there, I created lots of post types for fiction, art and design, teens, spoken word, poetry, all types of different custom post types. And then I use ACF to attach to those individual post types. So not everyone gets the same thing. They get a variety of things. And like, for instance, there won't be any video in, in teens, but there will be in video. And you can assign your fields or your groups of fields to any post type you like. You can do it to every post type if you like. You can create up all types of different rules to help you to figure out, OK, what do I want? Now, for this particular one, there was wallpaper downloads. So there was a Facebook image that you could download. And all this custom fields here were able to allow me to do that. And here's a little sample, too, of what it looks like on the page itself. It'd be a little uh, add an image button. There'll be a downloads checkbox. And you could upload and add things throughout. So advanced custom fields plugin, and even though I, I do, I do code. I'm not a very strong coder, uh, but it does save a lot of time. And it helps me too because I make lots of spelling errors and spend 15 minutes trying to find where I didn't put the comma. You know, but it, it's a great choice if you want to use it. Does anybody, because there's a lot to cover there and it's a lightning talk, so it's pretty fast. I think I have like, how much time left? It was 20, that's, that's 35. So I have about five to 10 more minutes. Anybody have any questions about it? about advanced custom fields? Has anybody, yes? Can you create um, the custom fields like on a page, right? And then use it for your, use it for one website and import it for another one? You can export and import custom fields, yes. You would just have to go into the plugin, there's a little area there that says export, and you can um, do all that right there. Yes, sir? No, I, I didn't find any special trips, it's, it's tips. I just found it was a, some pretty, you know. Like custom posts, you can create custom posts, but it's, it's uh, a little tricky to display them. You're going to have to go into, in, into your back end and create certain pages that match that post. So creating custom posts requires you to create uh, individual pages inside WordPress in your theme. Yeah. Well, fields is different. Fields is what you will edit your file for. So let's say you have a poetry. It would be named, you know, poetry and whatever custom post type name. And then in there, you would put in the field. And when somebody goes to that page, it's going to grab that and show all the stuff that you put in poetry. But you have to specifically tell it to do that. Yes? Uh, how do you find the advanced custom fields uh, being affected by the new rollout of Lucifer and the way the blocks are being used? Yeah, yeah, that's going to be very, that's, that, that's going to really affect a lot of people because, you know, people have all types of custom fields like themes. Theme use their own custom fields. Um, I can only tell you what I heard uh, Matt Mullenweg say at the, the, the event. He kind of said, well, you know, this is the way we're heading. And so I think there's going to be, right now, there's options to not use Gutenberg or, and to use it. So for now, there's going to be an opt-out feature for it. But you can ask that question again. In WordCamp USA, he spoke about that. And that was the same concern because a lot of developers are saying, we're spending all this time using custom fields, even if you're hand coding them. And now Gutenberg is saying, well, you know, jump on board. I kind of got the feeling that he's saying for, there will be an uh, opt out once it does the full release. You'll be able to opt out, but you automatically opt it in. So you'd have to specifically opt out um, of that. So, you know, you could, he's going to be here today at about 4 or 4 o'clock? That's another good question, because that is, you know, you put all this time and effort, 
and now it's gone, and sometimes I feel like, okay, well, you know, get with the program, buddy. You know, I'm like, that's not good enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's going to be definitely plugins that are going to help to do that. And if you, if you have a theme that you purchase, I'm sure they're going to try to keep you connected. But if you're doing it yourself, then you're going to have to go with that curve. Any other questions? I'm going to show you right here the actual plugin. Is there a question? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, right now, um, this, plug this plugin is called Advanced Custom Fields, so it won't do anything automatically for you. Um, but that's really, this is the developer, you would have to ask that to the developer. Oh, no, I just use it to, to allow me to store information that I can pull in and out. Because let's say, like, uh, I want to do things custom wise, I don't want to always just take it right out of the box. So I don't have anything in particular. The, the plugin that I turn to is Advanced Custom Fields plugin, and it provides check boxes, drop down list, all types of stuff that, you know, if a few code, you know, it takes a long time to make a list this long when you could just cut and paste it and, and it does the work for you. Any other questions? The Goomberg blocks, uh, uh, Matt Wellenberg Wellen will be here today. You can ask him that, but what I've heard him say was that for now you opt in, but then when they launch it, you're going to have to opt out. And I don't know how that works with the developers and how they develop their stuff. I'm thinking they won't go out of business. I think they're just going to find ways to make it work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other any other questions? Yeah, actually, these are good questions to ask to the gentleman Matt Mullenweg. He's the one that leads automatic. He's the one that's leading that. But also, there's a table here. Also, I met the guy uh, who's also for uh, Gutenberg. There's a Gutenberg table downstairs. You might want to ask him too. But I'm kind of thinking that the answer is going to be, um, and this is what he said: We're heading in that direction. And there'll be things that you can opt out of, but that's where we're heading. And so um, I, I'm, I'm curious, because I do a lot of custom stuff where I buy like a different theme, and I, I don't know how it's going to affect, but we'll, we'll find out shortly. Any other questions about advanced custom fields? You think? Why, why do you do on, the front end? on the front end for? Okay, when you display it, you're going to have to edit your actual custom post type file. So if it's single.php or if it's pages and all those archive, all those pages in the theme, you'll have to put the, the, the code in there. And um, there's documentation for that. It, if you like to, to, you can make it do whatever you want. You know, that's what I like about it. I even use it for like putting in CSS. So I'll put CSS and then leave a little field for the custom post type. So if it's poetry, then I'm going to make the page red. And so all I got to do is put it in the CSS, you know, page dash red, and it turns the things that I want red. But I use the custom post type to allow me to drop information wherever you want. You can do it for scripts, you know, for whatever that you have there. It puts everything in the loop, the WordPress loop, which, which, is, really, which is really cool because it pulls whatever you need, and it's always working for you. Any other questions? I got like two minutes, right? 20, 30, yeah. I got two minutes. Uh, do you think uh, this was interesting? Do you think this might help you in what you're going to be doing in the future? I know, it's very, I know when you come here, you get so much information. It becomes a little bit like a, of an overload. I put on my website a link to the slides here. The slides are kind of thin, but it's enough to go there. If you want to ask me any questions, jesse at wedointernet.net. Uh, I'll, I'll answer any question I can. I enjoy, like I say, sharing uh, information. In the back, I saw a hand. So I hand in the back. Oh, 
Awesome. Yeah, I, that's great. Yeah, I, I'm assuming they are because this is, you know, is how people make their money. And so I think it, it's, you're able to do that. And WordPress, is, I think, is good. I think it's good to continue growing, but at the same time, you know, like I said, I, I make a lot, most of my business is WordPress. So if they start changing it, I'm going to be like, what's going on? But I believe that that's what's going to happen. Plugins are going to make the change they need to do. And themes that are, are popular, that have like, like maybe 10,000 uh, buys or more, they're going to do what they have to do to make it work, uh, which is great. Any other questions? Uh, at Jesse Internet. And yeah, let me see that. I, thought I, I don't know if I put it up there or not. Let me put it here. Uh, no, it's not there. At Jesse Internet, uh, at We Do Internet for Instagram as well. And um, Facebook, uh, you know, I'm still trying to get with Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it's a different piece. Any other questions? Any kind of question you want. I may not have an answer. Yes, sir. Okay. The, the applying CSS, it depends on, on what you're doing. I mean, I, turn, I like to use things that kind of will do a lot of stuff at once. So I try to use like a, a, what they call a, um, it's white. The word is white. Oh, man, I can't remember the word. But it's when you, they have plugins that will allow you to change the interface for that. Yeah, it's called white, white, uh, white label. There you go, white label. Um, some, some places that I've used was, um, uh, da, 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 da. I can't remember, it's WP Beginner or, or another one. Um, WP, there's, a good, there's some plugins out there that are white label, you can use that. Um, I know one theme, Avada, provides a really nice white label kind of feature. You can change admin, colors, login page, you know, it depends. But I would look for a plugin and do that. Because the CSS for it, I mean, I've done it custom, but you know, it doesn't always work out 100% and it's a lot of effort. Try it then. All right, so thank you very much. I appreciate your time, you being here. Hope you enjoy the rest of the, the conference. <laughs>